physical contest, especially when there's more than eight runners in this race. Twelve runners in this race, as with all events from 800 metres upwards, being run as a straight final. Shot immediately tries to steer his way out of trouble as they go through 200 metres. Coming round on the outside, Reuter of Germany, taking it the long way round. Jamie Webb tucked in, running in lane two, but has clear sight of the lanes in front of him. Kramer at the moment on in the inside. So it's shot, Reuter, Webb is coming around the outside. Got it, Sass. 53-58, so pretty good pace at this stage. And it's Katitsas getting to the front now. Well, Katitsas hasn't got many international credentials, but he's certainly giving this a go. Shot tracking him, Reuter, the tall German. The Arriba coming round the long way as they're really starting to pick up the pace now. So it's the diminutive Spaniard, the Arriba, who hits the front. And Shot struggling at the moment. He found himself just boxed slightly. Now he's trying to work his way out of the pack. Coming around the inside, 200 metres to go. He's got ground to make up on Di Arriba. Di Arriba at the front, really working very, very hard. Shot, though, has got all the tools in his armoury. And Shot just pulls away majestically to take 12 points for Poland. Jamie Webb, excellent run from the Briton, coming through for 11 points. And Di Arriba hangs on to take 10 points with third place for Spain. Well, that's, in some respects, went to form, shot, a man who's run 1.43.30, gone under 1.45 this year, and very much the crowd favourite, and he does rise to the occasion. And following him home, well, exciting talent, Britain, Jamie Webb doing very well this year, and the Ariba who has a whole host of international experience. And this is where we can see their shot has a very interesting way of running these races because he has a very good quick turn of speed that he often hangs back, especially indoors, and then comes around very late at the bend. I know he's been struggling with illness quite a bit as well. He did race quite a few Diamond League races, but every time was very much trying to stay out of everyone's way because he was ill. But here we can see now getting back into his shape that we've seen so many times from him in championship races there with a very strong finish overtaking De Arriba, pulling away and then Webb coming through strongly also on the outside Andreas Kramer looking good as you said also been struggling with injury the Swede there as he moves all the way out almost in lane four to overtake Reuter the German yes I very pleased to see Andreas Kramer coming back to a modicum of his form, a very talented runner indeed. Still not quite to his best, that's pretty obvious, but he's still got a good six weeks before the World Championships in Doha. The sun has come out now and just beginning to dry out the Slavsky Stadium here in Poland. This could be a good opportunity for Great Britain to uh, narrow the gap once more on Poland because things could go down to the wire and those two countries should be strong in the 4x4 four four relays that end the day. Barantini though, just the early leader for Italy from Garcia, Spain and then Borkowski. Now you can see there, bottom left of your screen, that's the expected pace graphic. Brilliant introduction this year that we also had at the European Indoor Championships, as you may have seen. So just beginning to up that pace, 146, changing all the time. Barontini leading from Garcia, and then Borkowski and Whiteman starting to make a move on the outside. So who's going to time this one right? Barontini just edging away a little bit. So giving Borkowski especially with a lot of work to do because Whiteman is better placed at this point. And so as Whiteman moves through, that will give a chance for Borkowski to do so as well. Whiteman now comes past around the outside of Barantini. Got nothing left to respond. So it is these two that we expected with Garcia also looking to finish fast. Whiteman of Great Britain, Borkowski of Poland in the white and red. 
now springing out down the home straight Jake Whiteman away in clear Borkowski going to be beaten into second place is he close battle for second Whiteman takes maximum points for Britain though Garcia and then Borkowski then early leader Barontini 145-71 has come up on the clock for Jake Whiteman the captain of the British team who gave a rousing speech before the competition to get everyone geared up for the European Team Championships and he has led by example here well it was a brilliantly executed race wasn't it by Jake Whiteman as we're looking here at the closing stages of the race so Whiteman finds himself just in absolutely the right position to attack as Barantini starts to struggle a little bit. Polkowski, well, I think he just gave him a metre or two from the bell, which is possibly a little bit unwise. Should have kept closer contact with Whiteman. And Whiteman down the home straight is pulling away nicely with Garcia finding a second wind and an extra gear to come through and get good points for Spain but no doubt at all about it Jay Wyman absolutely commanding display from the British team captain leading by example Garcia looking good as he was coming down as Borkowski starts to struggle and just drifts back to third place